All right, coming up next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. A very accomplished striker finally making the walk to the octagon tonight. Gotta think he'll be interested, of course, in keeping this fight standing in his wheelhouse. And he's got the takedown defense to keep this fight where he wants it, no doubt. He'll be looking to put on a striking clinic here tonight. This guy is an outstanding striker. What he wants to do is use his defense to keep the fight standing, use the takedown defense and a good, solid sprawl, and if he does, go to ground his With self-belief for days, here is the notorious Conor McGregor, simultaneous two-division champion in the UFC. Nobody has done that before. Probably the best left hand in the game, whether you're a featherweight or a welterweight, you do not want to get hit with that left from the notorious Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan-favorite combination. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, Roberts. And now this is fighting out of the red corner. A kickboxer, only a professional record of 34 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? You ready? Let's and go. we are underway here at the United Center in Chicago, Illinois. So here is Conor McGregor yet again. You hear the Irish fans going bananas. There is no atmosphere in the fight game at present. Quite like Conor McGregor inside this UFC octagon. Immediately, Conor taking control here of the center of the octagon. McGregor gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Joe, how do you think he approaches this challenge tonight? Conor McGregor is very good at catching opponents as they move in, keep an eye out for his counter strikes. Caught him with a punch. Good defense there. He's doing a great job blocking these shots. Hard hook. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, nice. Oh, he tagged him again. And he lands a nice kick. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Just over three minutes to go. Nice. And he eats a right hand there. Gregor's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Well, he left the body wide open there, Joe. He's vulnerable to that straight punch. If he's going to move forward and keep his body and his head on that center line, he's going to pay for it. He certainly did there. 
Oh, beautiful right hook. That oh. one appeared to stun him. He's very wobbly. He's trying to hang on. Oh, he might be out. Huge hook to the head. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight. Oh, nice right hand. He hurt it. Oh, he might be out. Oh. Round two is next. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. He got knocked down just before the horn, so he'll walk back to his corner here. We'll see if they can get him physically, mentally back into the fight. What a moment at the end of that round. Here's a powerful punch that results in a knockdown. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. Brittany Palmer is here as well. Okay, round two, you ready? Ready? All right, round two. At the end of that round, his opponent was clearly hurt. He's going to look to start this round off fast and try to pick oh! up where he left off. Oh, he's getting hit. He's in a lot of trouble. He hurt him with that hook. Vicious, vicious punch combinations here. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Well, Joey seems to have his opponent's timing down. Whoa! He hurt him! Back to his feet again. Amazing. Lands a left big hand. left hand. And there he swung with a haymaker. Oh! He's out! Oh! Big roundhouse kick KO for the victory. Yeah, Joe, knockouts don't get much more prettier or much more flush than that. Full force and full extension on the kick, and there was no chance after that, Joe. The fight was really over as soon as that kick made contact. An outstanding highlight for that young fighter here tonight. Let's take a look at that again. Check it out again. Bang. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Here once more, Bruce Ladies Buffett. and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliotta has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 17 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Ron Burr. So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward. But you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations.
All right, now we're kickboxing. I want to see you land as many kicks as you can until I say stop. Beautiful. Perfect. Let's push. Get out of the way. Hey, great job in there. Beautiful kick. Now, focused on accuracy. I really want to see good punches. Let's go. Beautiful punch. There we go. Touch him up. Great target. Coming up next, a UFC lightweight division bout. Always knew I'm missing Waiting in. Well, this young man has run rough shot through the lightweight division. If he wins tonight, he will finally realize his first shot at that elusive UFC lightweight title in this division. A title shot is so hard to come by. He has made his way to this title eliminator. He's the favorite tonight. We'll see if he can get this one out of the way. Next stop of five rounds. The UFC lightweight championship of the world. This guy is an excellent striker. What he wants to do is utilize his footwork, his takedown defense, land hard strikes to get the victory. Oh, is he ever raging, ladies and gentlemen. Raging ally of Quinta repping Team Sarah Longo there in New York. Outstanding combinations. This is a pressure fighter, a very active, but came into mixed martial arts ling, but in Thai boxing as well. Ally of Quinta, fundamental, technical, fluid fighter who is happy to be in there competing, doing what he loves here tonight. This guy has incredible takedowns. The speed in which he delivers them and the power in which he executes them are world class. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach as well. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds at the UFC lightweight division. It's the recent post. Fighting out of the blue corner. A kickboxer, only a professional record of 17 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, Roberts. And now if you see the opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. Holy professional record of 29 wins, 9 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Blood Park, New York, Raging Al Al-Hippah. And when the action begins, I will be in charge of Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Here we go. All right, so here we go, early round one. And unless there's a UFC title on the line, the stakes just don't get any bigger. This is a number one contender for... Whoa! Wow! Well, when the local radio guys are reaching out to you, you know you've done something right. And this fighter has really taken his popularity to that next level in advance of this fight here tonight. He has found himself on the main card, deservedly so, I would say. And you heard him all over local radio, too. Definitely a feather in his cap. We'll see if... Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt.
beautiful strike here to end the fight early in the first. Yeah, we're just getting going, and now the fight's over, but excellent striking technique to land that shot and ultimately finish the fight here in the first. You've heard us say it before, but sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. Let's take a look at that again. Great angle here. I mean, just stiff. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. The official decision is Ladies in. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, Buffett. referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute, nine seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by So there's the man of the moment. Just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure. His next fight will be a big one, and he will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates, his coaches, and his friends after this monumental victory here under the bright lights tonight. Fighters fight for many different reasons. Some do it for the fame, others do it for the money. Eventually, all of that fades away. Yet going down in the history books as a UFC champion is something no one can ever take. It's proof that for a moment in time, out of all the fighters in your weight class, you were the best in the world. It's the culmination of all your hard work, the fulfillment of a dream. Tonight is your chance to take that gold belt and hear Bruce Buffer say, and new. That kind of glory lasts forever. Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. to realize a title shot in this loaded UFC lightweight division, but that is exactly what is in front of this man here tonight. He has hit his due. He has got the win streak that has positioned him for this opportunity. He has certainly worked his way up the ranks. He has taken on all comers. And now, one man stands in his way of the forever minted UFC lightweight champion. We'll see if his performance can be consistent with the ones that have led to this opportunity his way towards the cage, his preparation has been perfect. He is in fantastic shape, had an amazing camp, and he believes that he is in the perfect position to become the new champion of the world. As he steps into the octagon right now, he steps in with a champion's mindset. All right, here's the UFC lightweight champion of the world defending his belt yet again. This has been one dominant 155-pound fighter, ladies and gentlemen. You know this is a belt that frequently changes his hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist 
given all the skills he brings to the table. The question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. And now, tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach as well. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 18 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, presenting the challenger, Roberts. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of. 30 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. All right, here we go. Will we crown a new UFC lightweight champion here tonight? It is time to find out. All right, so will we get a new champion here tonight? That remains to be seen. Round one is underway. This fight, five minutes or fewer for the UFC lightweight championship. For the number one contender, this is his first championship opportunity. And given the depth at 155 pounds, you may not get another one. We'll see if he is urgent early as he tries to wrest away the belt. All right, so here we go with round one, and it doesn't figure to take him long to start to establish his kicking game, Joe. He's got some of the most powerful kicks in this division, and he does not discriminate. He'll go to the body, he'll go up top. Let's see how the early portions of this one play. Oh, nice strike landed there by Nermago Meta. to the head there, Joe, and he would be wise and the line. It's almost as if he's moving straight oh, over the oh, Huge right hand! The champ is rocked. He's in big trouble here. We could be seeing a new champion right now. Oh! Huge that up one for Kevin Oh! He's got to be careful here. Trying to stay in this fight! And separate. Nice head kick. In on a single here. Look at this. Take down. In half guard now. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He's trying to take the back here. Oh, nice. 
Nice job to get back up again. You don't want to hang out on the ground with this guy. Good defense there. Huge kick to the body. for the fences with that hook, but misses. Oh, beautiful kick. 20 seconds left. Clean hook. Big on the cup that landed for him. Oh! 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 Let's see some of the action here. And here's another devastating shot to the head. Several near fight ending moments in that round. Lots of action. try to pick up where he left off. Well, Dutch strike team is known for producing high-level strikers. Whoa! Oh, he's getting tagged. Out the standing. Ground and pound KO. Yeah, Joe, the finish comes courtesy of some outstanding ground and pound. And it's one thing to try to score when you have your opponent in a compromised position on the ground. It's another thing to try to end the fight. And that's exactly what he was trying to do here tonight. Elbows and punches and hammer fists, one weapon after the next. And ultimately, the knockout materializes. Nicely done there. Take a look at this from a different angle. Boom! And then he's out. So what a knockout from the UFC lightweight champion here tonight. Under the bright lights, he rises above the pressure and gets it done in a big way to be the UFC lightweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 35 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion of the well, he's been talking about those two words throughout fight week and new UFC champion. He completes the mission here tonight, and you can see the emotion spilling over. Absolutely incredible what this fighter was able to accomplish, and it is going to take a special performance to dethrone the new UFC. Hey, everyone. I'm Megan Olivi, and it's time for your UFC Minute. The MMA world is buzzing about that incredible performance this past weekend in the main event. Last weekend in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, it was a night to remember for the mixed martial artist whose story has captured the imagination of fans around the globe as he fought the fight of his life when it mattered the most. When the dust settled, Bruce Buffer said, and knew. And he was crowned UFC lightweight champion of the world thanks to a memorable performance. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fight. Wish we could turn back to